All right, let's talk about ginkgo. Um, you have probably heard about this one a lot too. That's a very popular supplement. People in the United States love ginkgo. Um, we use it in extracts, capsules, tablets. It comes in all forms. Um, ginkgo is the leaves of it are actually used um, most traditionally as a tea. And the, the nut of the ginkgo plant is what we use for traditional Chinese medicine for respiratory problems, particularly with wheezing, um, those deep wheezing coughs where you know the lungs are just really closed up due to infection. So it's been used for thousands of years um, as you know for things with respiratory, things like bronchitis, asthma. It's also been used for um, the ringing of the ears. A lot of people, that's how I found out about it. Um, and it's, it has some really great benefits for boosting brain power, um, and helping us with things like depression and, you know, uh, fatigue and, and things like that, that come with those type of, of problems. So you will hear this talked about quite a bit in the natural health world. Um, you, again, it's one that you, you want to use a good source of it for natural acts, bioavailability absorption into your body. Um, you want to make sure if you're buying it fresh or, you know, as a supplement that it does come from a food source, the actual ginkgo plant. And you, you know, you want to pr primarily stick to the leaves of ginkgo because the seeds can kind of create some, some side effects that aren't necessarily, um, pleasant. So, um, if you have questions about ginkgo, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to answer them. If you're looking for a natural health practitioner, I'm more than happy to help you. You can schedule time with me on my website. The website name is dragonspitapothecary.com. And I have a book online feature where uh, my consultative services are available to you. All right. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon.